Hi everyone, and welcome to The Finance Bunch Presents Girl Talk. Today our guest is Kimberly Wright, and she is the owner of Natural Intentions Hair Salon. It's a holistic salon and wellness center. Kim has been, I've known her since she was nine. She, I've watched her grow, I've watched her turn into this amazing, successful businesswoman. And today she's gonna to take us on her journey to not only success, but wellness and creating this beautiful holistic salon and wellness center. So I want you to come along with me as I interview Kimberly Wright and Natural Intentions Hair Salon, and we get a chance to really explore what it means to have natural hair and be successful in your natural hair care business. So come along with us for the journey. Hello everyone and welcome to the Finance Bunch Presents Girls Talk. Today we have in her salon, we have Kimberly Wright. Hi. And Kim is the owner, proprietor, stylist, mm -hmm. everything <laughs> for Natural <laughs> Intentions, Holistic Salon and Wellness Center. Yes, ma'am. Kim, I'm so happy to have you on the show. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for inviting Super us excited. into your space. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful Thank space. For coming. Thank you for coming. Now, how long have you been doing hair? I've been doing hair, we were just talking about that before these cameras started rolling, exactly. we had to figure out the time. I've been doing hair for 26 years, it was 26 years, Yes, right? it was 26. Came, yeah, 26 years. Wow, That's since you were time. 18. Since I was 18, it was my part-time job when I started college. Right. My side gig, you know, bringing yes. in my little extra income, and now it has turned into my actual career. Yes. And um, it's been super awesome, the journey's yeah. been good. And, you know, just sitting back watching your journey, you know, we talked about that a little bit off camera, too. Mm -hmm. And I've known you since you were nine, ten, nine or ten, somewhere in yes. there. And just to watch you grow up and become an adult and a, a grown woman. And now you have children and a husband and a full business. It's just amazing to watch. Mm -hmm. And you've done an excellent Thank job, you. girl. Thank you. And Kim is my hairstylist. So for yes. those of you who love my hair, mm -hmm. Kim is the one who does my hair. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and every style you see, Kim is the one who's done it. Yes, ma'am. Now, how long have you been in business? Um, we've been in this um, actual salon for nine years this month. Wow. Yes. So we just made our nine year anniversary the first of October. Nice. Yes, it's been a wild, crazy, fun, eventful journey. <laughs> but yes, nine years. So yeah, we're celebrating. Um, it's really exciting to be able to make nine years, especially right. when you think about most small businesses and how most of them fail within the first five, That's right. if not the first year. That's right. Um, you know, so I just really feel proud about mm -hmm. being able to say that we've been here for nine years nine and years. we're thriving and we're doing really good. Wow. Yes, and we're and still growing and learning, but yeah, it's been great. That's so cool. Now, is this your first salon? Um, no, I had a really small salon before I came here with okay. a partner. Um, it was only for like about a year, mm -hmm. if that, and then I worked from home. I wanted to um, save up for this endeavor. And um, at the time, actually, I didn't have my full like a cosmetology license. Mm -hmm. So I went back to school. I had been working for years without one. Right. Um, but I went back to school, went to Aveda, and got my cosmetology license. And mm -hmm. then I worked at home for like maybe another year, a year and a half, Save saving up money. money. Yes, for this place. Yeah. Got married during that time. Mm -hmm. And you know, me and my husband opened up this place. Nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. So now, how would you describe your this business and what it offers? What 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 are your offerings here? What um, services do you offer? Services, as far as our services, if you're coming in, we specialize in natural hair. Right, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. But an array of services as far as hair is concerned. Only thing that we don't do would be relaxers, but we do weaves, we do um, different types of extensions, we do color, we do all types of natural hair. Our specialty is our curly girl cut. Yes. So we do the cut where we cut your hair. If you have curly, kinky texture, we're gonna go in and cut your hair curl by curl, mm -hmm. and we're gonna shape it for you. It's gonna be really super cute. It's gonna be shaped just for your face and everything. 
Um, and then we specialize in taking care of natural hair. So if we're coloring it, if we're braiding it, any type of protective style, we're going to do it to where we're making sure that it's going to stay healthy. Yes. So our main concern here is making sure that your hair stays healthy, that it looks beautiful, of course, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure that it's thriving, that it's thriving, excuse me, and that it's growing um, and it's staying on your head. Exactly. And not falling out. Exactly. That so that's not. one of our <laughs> our main <laughs> things. But natural hair is our thing. That's what we yeah. do. That's what I've been doing for um, 20 plus years. Um, we have our own product line. So we mm -hmm. use a product line. We use Aveda's products also to um, do our styles here. But yeah, that's what we love. It's the natural hair. Now, being a shop owner mm -hmm. and being, you know, creating this space. And I know when you started the space, you said you wanted it to be multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, not only do hair, but educate women on their hair and how mm -hmm. to care for it when they're away from you. Yes. You know, because curly hair is a little mm -hmm. bit different mm -hmm. than straight hair. Definitely. And, you know, not just black women have curly hair. Mm -hmm. Women of all races have curly hair yes. too. And I wanted to make that a point because you cut and care for all curly hair. Oh yeah, hair. definitely. All, curly all hair. textures. All textures of curly from hair. From the kinkiest, tightest, smallest curl to the loosest wave. Right. We take care of all types of textures and curly hair. Um, this is the place to come. If you have some curly <laughs> hair, we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> so now, um, now you mentioned products uh -huh. that you've created. What products have you created? Me and my sister have a product line, Soul Ingredients. Um, we started off with mostly body products. So mm -hmm. we had different things like lotions, body oils, body scrubs. Right. And then we, I was always doing hair and I always wow. wanted to have a product line that was my own. So we branched off and we made, we started with just two products. Mm -hmm. It was um, our Heavenly Hair Butter, which is like a styling product, moisturizer. Um, and then we had a Heavenly Hair Oil. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking both of those were like, to be used as a moisturizer, give you some sheen, some shine. Right. And they were multi-purpose. You can use them on your body and you can use them on your hair. Yeah. The and product they smell line, so good too. Yes, and they smell super good. And it's all natural, handmade by us. No parabens, no mineral oils, no petroleums, right. nothing in it that would be toxic to the body. Um, me and my sister both were dealing with some health issues, so we wanted to use products that we knew weren't gonna um, cause us any harm as far as you know our skin being the largest organ on our, our body. body we're putting all these different things yes. in it we wanted to make sure that we were giving it some really good um, products that have really good ingredients so we came up with that and then um, after maybe like about four years we had the skincare products we came in with the hair products mm -hmm. right when I opened up this place we started the hair products right so um, we have different products for curly hair. Right. That's like our specialty now. Mm -hmm. We had different products. And it's changed over the years. Like right. I said, we were thinking that our butter and our oil was for more like moisturizing. And we've learned as we have grown in this field, mm -hmm. um, which everyone should be doing in whatever field they are. They should always be, be constantly growing. learning, yes. growing, um, advancing. And we've learned that, you know, you don't want to use the butters and the oils on curly hair. You know, okay. so I like to use my oils and my butters, like if I'm doing protective styles, right. if ladies are wearing ponytails, different things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as styling curly hair or um, defining your curls, we don't use those two at all. So okay. we've developed some other products that we do use. So now we have um, two plant based gels that oh, we nice. mm -hmm. they're um, organic aloe vera gel base. And um, we have a, it's called the um, curly custard. Coil and custard, excuse me. And then we have our organic aloe vera gel. It's just pure organic aloe vera gel. And those are the ones that we mostly use for defining curls, mm -hmm. along with our Loving Those Curls leave-in conditioner. We have a light, and then we have a normal formula. Well, what I love about all of the products that you've created, from the body butters and the lotions, the shampoos, everything, you've done it with using plant-based mm -hmm. products. Yes. Plant-based items, plant-based yes. ingredients. And when did you start going on this? Because I know as far as your business is concerned, you know, you went from, we were talking about how you used to do hair <laughs> on the couch. Mm -hmm. And we would be, we would make our appointment. Yep. And you would do our hair. <laughs> right on and the couch. And we had two choices floor. of entertainment. Yes. It was either the movie Claudine. Uh-huh. Or the food channel. Or the food channel. Right. <laughs> and that's because Which you one? love to cook. Because I love to cook. And you yes. love the movie. And I love the movie. Right. Party. And, yes. you know, Diane Carroll, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Diane Yes, because she was our, definitely actress. one of our heroes, right? Definitely. <laughs> definitely. So, yeah. Um, and what was your question? So, my question was, you know, like going from 
being the girl who mm-hmm. was braiding hair mm-hmm. on the couch mm-hmm. to being a salon and spa owner. And we'll talk about the other endeavors that you have a little bit mm-hmm. further in the interview. When you go from being on the couch, did you see yourself here? Did you see that? Yeah. Um, maybe during the couch, no, because I didn't take hair um, seriously as like a career. Okay. I wanted to go to school to be an English teacher. Right. I remember that. Yeah. So yeah. that was like, you know, I wasn't even thinking about it like that, but I've always been a hustler. So mm-hmm. this was like, okay, I know how I'm going to make my money when I go to college. Right. I'm not going to be broke. I'm going to always be able, I've been working, me and my sister, um, that's a year younger than me since we were 13 and 12. Yes. Yes. Our first I job remember. was at McDonald's, so we're hustlers. And a lot about that age to get it. How uh-huh. did you get that job? Exactly. <laughs> like, okay. We were flipping burgers and yes. making that money. Yes, yes, yes. Went to school with them good school clothes. Exactly. So, yeah, I just, I wasn't thinking about it at the time, but as I started doing here more mm-hmm. and I became more popular and my clientele built up, yes. then I really started thinking like, well, and you know, I was making a lot of money. I was mm-hmm. like, I could really be doing this. Full, full time, time right you know and um i don't know i've never really been super scared about stepping out on faith yes you know nervous of course but yeah. i've never been like super scared about new endeavors right and just getting out there and doing it right um, i don't know why but <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that we're like serial entrepreneurs yeah this business going i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that yeah you know we got to keep our revenue coming in exactly but i will say one thing that i did remember um a few years ago maybe about four or five years ago that i saw les brown the motivational speaker yes in one of my i think it was my communications class okay it was a video and i didn't realize it until i saw him again recently mm-hmm. a video and i watched it but he planted that seed. Wow. He had to. Wow. Because when I saw him again, I was just like, oh, that's Wait Les a Brown. Yeah. And I never really knew. I swear to you guys, I had completely forgot about it. I never really knew why I wasn't afraid to try right. new things mm-hmm. or why I was just such a go-getter. Um, but that was it. He that planted it. those seeds, and I just took it with me. Because, I mean, I knew how to go find someone to write a business plan for right. me. I mean, I had my older sister, yes. and she owns her own business, so she helped me too, definitely. But I knew how to do these things, and I was mm-hmm. just trying to figure out, like, how did I? Oh, I did learn something while I was over there at that community college. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn some stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I um, after I started doing it full-time, and I really started seeing, you know, the income coming in. Right. And I liked being my own boss. Because you got a chance to, especially when you're in school, you have to, you know, work around your school mm-hmm. hours. And sometimes that's difficult. Yes. You know, not knocking, finding, you know, traditional employment, mm-hmm. not knocking that. But sometimes when you are in school and you have classes, you know, your class might be from 8 to 10 and then you have another one at 4 o'clock. Yes. How can you work in between exactly. that? Exactly. But if you have, you know, your own side hustle, mm-hmm. whatever that is, mm-hmm. you can make money in between class yes. and then go to the next class and not be concerned about what are you going to eat because you made the money so you Definitely. can eat. Exactly. How am I going to pay for my books? You can pay yeah. for your books. Am I going to look cute? Exactly. Because yes. that's right? important. <laughs> need my car, need gas. Exactly. You know, yeah. so, yeah. So I was able to do that and um, when I decided to quit school, I just figured, you know, school will be here. Yes. I could always come back to it. Mm-hmm. You know, I just was like, I'm not going to know how this is going to go unless I just get out Until here and do it. Until you jump out there and yeah. do it. So I just did it. And then when I started working in the salon as a booth renter, that's when I was like, oh, this is, I, my vision came to me. Okay. I want a salon. I want a spa. I want to have, you know, and I always knew I didn't want to be um, in a salon. I didn't want to own a salon that was um, booth rent. Okay. I wanted to own a salon that was commission based because I knew that that was how I was going to be able to bring in real revenue. Right. I knew that that is how I was going to be able to really grow. Right. I wasn't going to really grow too much with just doing booth rent. Okay. And I wasn't going to be able to um, put my influence and my training into my stylist like I really wanted to as far as customer service was concerned. Wow. Because that's one of our major things is customer service. I want people to come here and feel a certain type of way. And you know what? This place is so, it's tranquil, it's beautiful, but first and foremost, it's it's the ultimate in customer service. Yes. When you you. come in, someone greets you, they ask you if you're thirsty, would you like something to drink? Water, coffee, you know, um, Mm -hmm. 
tea and you mm-hmm. have your own teas and we'll talk about that in a yes. minute you know and so it's just a very nice place everyone is professional mm-hmm. you know your services start on time mm-hmm. you know you greet everyone the same and so and that's really important it is when you own a business because that's what takes you to the next level mm-hmm. so if you had three pieces of advice that you would give someone who's listening to this or watching this on YouTube mm-hmm. and they say I want to be like that I want to own my own salon one day what are three pieces of advice you would give them um, definitely first and foremost would be the customer service yes set up a training manual set up a training schedule yes. so that you can train your stylist like it's so important mm-hmm. when I opened up the business I didn't really have that all the way in place I had my ideas right. but I didn't have okay, this is the day that we're going to do training. Right. This is what exactly what I want to train you on. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a manual and I had an employee handbook and everything, but I learned over the years that, you know, you always have to be working with your staff on customer service. It's yes. so important. Um, making people feel great when they come in and when they leave. Making people want to tell somebody about, right. you know. Your, their experience. Where they, yeah, their but experience. you have where to been. go to this shop. Yes. Natural ingredients. If it's, they're not doing that, yeah. then you're not doing your job. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, totally. natural intentions, you have to want to come here. Yes. And you do. I tell everyone. Exactly. If you want a great hair experience, this is the place. To yes. Come. Like, you have to do that. And then definitely, um, I would say the interviewing and hiring is so important. Okay. You have to have the right people. Yes. If you don't, and it's very frustrating. Very. Um, if you don't have the right people, <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to be the fire fast. You want it to be. Fire fast. Hire slow and fire and fast. Fire fast, yes. Right. If they're not working, get them out. Yes. Because they're going to be the bad seed. You know, they'll they're going to. They'll be a cancer. They'll be a cancer. They're yes. going to spread. Yeah. So if they're not working, get them out. Don't waste time on that. I did. You know, I've learned from that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just being scared about not having workers or. Right. It'll be fine. You'll be okay. Yeah. You'll figure it out and just keep interviewing and, you know, really learn personalities. Mm-hmm. Really go online and learn all about the personalities and how each person has their own personality. And yes. you can work with your staff so much better when you figure out you know, what their personality type is. Right. You know? Exactly. And you can kind of weed people out in interviews when you kind of can figure out, oh, I can see they're a little bit more of an I or an S, you know. Right. You know, I can see who That's you a are. That's personality Exactly, right yeah. yes. So I would definitely say customer service is important. Learning good interview skills because you mm-hmm. want to hire good people. And then getting them out if they're not working. Yeah. Because they're going to, like you said, be a cancer in your business and you don't want that. Exactly. And you want your business to thrive and you yes. can't do it being afraid to mm-hmm. really put your vision out there yep. and and actually walk to it. Yes. And and not let people who have other agendas stand in your way. No, you can't. Yeah. Wow. You, you, you got to be brave enough to <laughs> say, this is my business. This is what my I vision. want. And if you don't, my vision, because everybody's not going to see your vision. And if they don't, then they're not going to work. Right. You know? Exactly. Now, you wear your hair natural, mm-hmm. and you wear your hairstyle natural. Did mm-hmm. you always wear your hair in natural styles? No, I had a relaxer. I have extensions in now. It's natural extensions, but I wear <laughs> my hair natural. Um, but back in the day, no, I had a relaxer for years, from the time I was probably like nine until I was 20 or 21. Mm-hmm. So when I really went into a salon, um, maybe like a year or two after that, I stopped wearing my relaxer. Yeah. Um, and I just fully went natural. It was still, you know, straightening and I was just kind of straightening and wearing different natural styles. Okay. And then I would say the last four to five years, um, I hadn't put any heat on my hair for probably like four or five years and I was just mm-hmm. completely natural. So wow. going in and out of protective styles, wearing my hair in a curly fro. Right. Um, and I just straightened my hair not too long ago, but I hadn't straightened it in like four or five years. Right. Yeah. And you seemed, you were ahead of the curve with that mm-hmm. because now, you know, it's trending for your hair to be natural, mm-hmm. you know, to embrace your natural curls or wear your hair in curly styles, mm-hmm. you know, all of that is trending right now. Yes. But when you started and when you started doing our hair, mm-hmm. that was not the trend. No. I couldn't get y'all we, to do a twist no, out. I was like, girl, uh, no. Uh, wash and go, please. No, no, we're not washing and going anywhere. <laughs> Nowhere. No, we're, we are, we are going to make yeah, so. sure that hair is laid, okay? Exactly laid. <laughs> <laughs> and my problem with, 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 um, you know, relaxers and stuff like that was, I didn't understand like the damage that the chemicals can do. I didn't Mm -hmm. understand that, but I had very sensitive skin. Mm. 
So I couldn't, couldn't do the chemicals. One. No. Yeah. And so where, when I would get my hair cut in really short styles, mm-hmm. you know, and they'd have to, you know, lay those edges down. Yes. Right. <laughs> it, it could be, it, tur- it would turn into a situation. Exactly. So, you know, I just never could. So now with the protective styles, like you said, mm-hmm. and with being able to wear our hair more natural, mm-hmm. we don't have those concerns anymore. No. And it's just such a relief. Yes. It you is. know, to be able to embrace. And you know, and wear your hair however you want. However you want. Yeah. And it helps you embrace so much more about who you are, exactly. you know, as a black woman. Yes. You know, exactly. a lot of hangups that we might have about how we look or, you know, our appearance. Our, exactly. It, it really helps you to accept more about yourself when you can accept your hair, your, the natural texture. Right. It makes you feel good about everything about yourself. Exactly. You know, which is really beautiful that women, black women now can really you know walk with confidence and not feel like we have to look like someone else exactly Our, we can look like ourselves we can look like ourselves and it's fine and it's fine exactly. and everyone loves it and ev- everyone loves, loves it, it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so now over the past few years um wearing your natural hair and seeing the embrace that natural hair is getting what has that done for your business Oh, it's completely blown up. Because even when we first opened nine years ago, mm-hmm. like the first couple of years, it wasn't as big as it is now. Isn't that right. Um, we were doing natural hair, but I was doing a lot of thermal work, so a lot of straightening. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, like maybe three years after we opened, it exploded. So yes. with the products really is what it is that more black women are now filling up that gap that other companies weren't coming in and doing as far as giving us products that actually work for our hair exactly so now black women are you know owners of these big million dollar companies that are producing really good products that work for our hair you know so that was the explosion and youtube youtube YouTube. the product yes yes so social media really blew it up instagram people could see more people that look like them and their yes. hair texture and the different styles that they could do and the different products that they could use. So that really like blew it up. It was insane. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. I noticed that, you know, not during taping right now, but your phone is usually ringing mm-hmm. off the, the hook. hook. Yes. Yes. With Which people, is a blessing. Yeah. Because we're never not busy. Right. Which is a blessing. I mean, seriously, yes. people, um, even when it was the recession, you know, some years back with the housing and all that stuff, people would always ask me before, I, right before I came into the, the salon, you know, like, how is everything? How's your business? And, you know, I, sometimes I would be afraid to be like, um, it's fine. <laughs> because women we're not experiencing out, any we recession. We will figure out how to get our hair We're going to figure out how to get our we hair We will figure done. that out. I, I would personally rather, like, go on a strict budget. Mm-hmm. But make sure the hair, the is hair done. money is right. in there. The hair money has to be available. Exactly. You know. Now, what are some of the, the the myths about natural hairstyles? What are some of the myths that we've had to overcome? Um, that it's difficult. It's hard to deal with. Right. It takes a lot of time. If you're using the right types of products, if you're um, if you're coming to a place where you can mm-hmm. get some help, some actual instruction on yes. what you should be doing with your hair, it's going to take you way less time. For wash day. You shouldn't be spending four, six, seven, eight hours on wash day. Even if you have a lot of hair. Right. There's, it doesn't have to be that difficult. So I, usually women just don't know because right. they haven't been wearing their hair like this. Exactly. So um, it's not that hard. Once you come in, that's what we explain to women when they come in here. Like, we're going to walk you through what we're doing step by step because we know at home with natural hair, you right. have to know what to do. Exactly. It's not like when you leave out with a press and curl or a relaxer, you go home, you come back in a week. Right. You know, some of our guests come here every two weeks, Come some come once a month. So it just depends, but they still need to know what they should be doing at home. Mm-hmm. You know, making sure that they have the right products. We're not product pushers. You know, we do have our own product line, but we use other product lines also. So we're going to use on your hair what we feel works for your hair. Right. And that's what I absolutely love about your salon, because like you said, you have your own line of products Mm -hmm. and your products are amazing. Thank you. You know, but you use on the person's hair what's best for their hair. Definitely. So that when you walk away, Mm -hmm. if you follow Kim's instructions Mm -hmm. or any of the the women that you and men you've trained here, exactly. If you follow what they tell you to do, Mm -hmm. your hair is going to look good from the time you leave the shop Mm -hmm. until you come back. Definitely. Right? Yes. Now what are a couple of tips that we need to know? 
in order to be successful with our natural hair. hair. <laughs> Just one or two tips. <laughs> Definitely, we should be washing more. Okay. So don't go weeks without washing your hair. Right. Make sure that you're washing, cleansing your hair with a really good cleanser, mm -hmm. something that's sulfate-free, a yes. really good sulfate-free um, cleanser or shampoo. Mm -hmm. Um, make sure that you're doing that at least once a week. Okay. We should not be going any longer than two weeks without washing our hair. Okay. Really once a week is I ideal because we need that water moisture. Mm -hmm. And that's a big myth about natural hair too is that our hair doesn't like water. Our hair loves water. It it's needs just longer water. to penetrate, right? It just takes longer for Well, it just depends on the porosity of the hair. Okay. So um, our hair needs the water. It thrives mm -hmm off of the water if we don't have the water our hair is going to be dry and brittle and it's going to break so definitely wash your hair more find products that work for your hair type okay so don't um base it on you know the type of curl um, pattern, pattern that you have mm -hmm. but your porosity your the density of your hair okay you know um, and find a good salon that you can go to if you're not in this area because of course if you are you need to come here you need to come here. Uh -huh. But know, if you're not, find a good place where you can go where they're really going to educate you on your texture and exactly. your hair, you know, yeah. so you can find the right products and the right regimen for what you have. Right. And you know what? With hair, honestly, Kim, and I, was, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you before, uh -huh. but you know, as women, we will drive to a good salon. We will get on a flight. A flight. And don't to play. To get our hair And get out, get out. <laughs> Is what we will so do. don't let distance be the challenge. Don't do because not. for a good salon, yes. we will drive for hours. Definitely. If I didn't know how to do hair, I definitely would. Be exactly. Employed. So don't let that be your barrier. No, don't find now, that place that you can call home as exactly. far as your salon is concerned. Exactly. Now you have a lot of success with your salon. So what's coming up for you with Natural Intentions? I know you're starting to expand and kind of just move all yes, the walls back i am and doing your thing yes it's and been adding to your natural product yes, line it's so what we're what doing is going on now um i'm super excited about it it has been something that i've just been really praying and asking god to guide me on what i really should be doing mm -hmm. what is my work in this world yes you know not what is my job but what is my work mm -hmm. what should i be out here doing i wanted to know my purpose so my new journey is to what I've always been doing, but yes. really now is helping women to find out who they are, um, find their journey, get well, mm -hmm. heal, and be themselves. Yes. Don't be afraid to be themselves. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that with our, um, our brand, Beauty, Wellness, and Empowerment. So mm -hmm. we're giving classes, we're giving workshops, we have different wellness products. We have our new tea line here. Which is delicious, by the way. Yes, yeah, so I've been getting oh all goodness. into the Love. herbs. I've been taking classes on herbs and plant-based mm -hmm. medicine. Um, I've been, well, I've always eaten really well. Yes, and um, cooked very well, too. Yes, try to. <laughs> so sharing that with women, I know how I was really sick at one time yeah. with autoimmune condition that's called sarcoidosis so mm -hmm. in order to heal myself I had to change my eating habits mm -hmm. and change my stress levels you know really start getting into some self-care so I wanted to be able to give women that same type of experience of what I went through to heal myself right. I'm still in the heal healing process right now but what I've gone through so far on this journey in this healing process right. you know mentally physically and spiritually right because sarcoidosis is a very scary mm -hmm. illness. Yeah, because definitely. It, it attacks the immune system. Mm -hmm. And so even to watch you go through that and mm -hmm. see you come out on the other side so healthy mm -hmm. and vibrant and you know you have two children yes, and a husband and, exactly. and and those are some of the misnomers that people think won't happen yeah. when they get that diagnosis. Exactly. Right? Yeah, so definitely. To be in on this side of the health, health and wellness and to be willing to and want to share mm -hmm. not just your, your experience with sarcoidosis, but mm -hmm. also to experience the wellness side of that. Yes, definitely. And how you did it naturally. Yeah, naturally. Plant-based. Plant-based, right? definitely. Is, is amazing. Yes. And that's basically what we're already doing here. And that was my vision opening up this place coming mm -hmm. up with the name natural intentions what was our intention what do we want to give women i knew yes. this was about women i knew it was about black women 
And I wanted to be able to share with them the wellness part of the hair yes. industry too. Yes. You know, not just come in, get pretty, but how do you feel, sis? How are mm-hmm. you really operating every day? How yes. are you thinking? Do you have your energy? Right. You know, are you really doing and caring for yourself how you really should be? Are you taking that five are minutes? You, are you taking that five minutes? For self, personal self-care. For per, it's so important. Right. Because we'll find ourselves, and which I found myself running myself into the ground. Mm-hmm. I mean, last year I was completely exhausted. I had just, I had no more gas. Right. I had nothing else to give because I was just going, 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 being a mother, being a wife, being a business owner, being a friend, uh, being we, a mentor. We do we'll do that. And, and I was completely drained. Yeah. So that's our, that's what I'm doing now. I'm teaching women how to take care of themselves, the self love, our new products. We also have a new juice. Yes. Um, that we're doing the green juice. I've always wanted to have a juice bar inside the salon. Yes. <laughs> so next year, you guys, get ready. So have a juice bar too. So we'll be a juice bar here. <laughs> so we do have one juice that we have right now that people can come and pick up. We have a juice cleanse that we're doing. You can pick up your weekly juice cleanse if you'd like. Mm-hmm. Our um, juice cleanse right now is starting on the 21st. But um, that's one of our big things is, you know, giving people. I want people to feel better, look better. Yes. And do better and do with better. themselves. Exactly. Now, Kim, with all that you have going on. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's a lot. How do people connect with you? Your website, your Instagram, your shop. How do, how do they make appointments? I want to know all of that. Oh, and yeah, we only definitely. have a little bit of time left. Yes. So how so do we do that? You guys can hop on naturalintentions.com. And you'll be able to link up to all of our social yes. media there, Facebook, Instagram. Um, our Instagram is in natural underscore intentions. Facebook is natural intentions. And you can find all the information on there for our workshops, our different um, items that we have here as far as wellness is concerned. Everything is on the website, all the information about our juice, cleanse, and everything. So hop on there, and you'll get everything that you need. Yes, you can find the phone number for how you can make an appointment. Oh, yes. You can make an appointment online. Right. You can request an appointment, and then we'll call you back. And we'll confirm that appointment. Yes. Or you can call our front desk and then we'll set you up with an appointment when you call in. Ooh, Kim, this yes. has been so good. Yes, it has Thank been. You. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. I know that everyone's going to get a lot out of this. Awesome. This has been amazing. I even awesome. learned some new things today. Cool. So thank you, girl. You're welcome. This is Charlene, and this is The Finance Bunch Presents Girl Talk. And I hope you've enjoyed our conversation. You can follow us on Instagram. You can join us in conversation on Facebook. You can watch us on YouTube. And whatever podcast station you enjoy listening to, you can find us there too. So thank you for listening. Remember, make comments. Let us know how we're doing, what questions you want us to answer, and really what subjects you want us to present. So thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.